Are you guys finding yourselves going from job to job only to get the same outcome? I know exactly what you guys are going through. And today I wanted to share with you some of the insight that I learned from the experience of, of having multiple jobs um, in a year. And hopefully these steps will help you save time as you move forward and progress into finding the right career or whatever path that may look like for you. Hey, what's going on everybody? Michael A. Benton here with MichaelABenton.com. On this channel, we focus on helping men take control of their lives and achieving their desires. So if you're a man looking to better himself, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. You know, as someone who's had a new job every year for the past six years, you know, I know a thing or two about continuously quitting jobs, right? And moving on to the next one. And so I wanted to share some insight that I only learned after my experience with uh, quitting jobs over and over again. And I wish I had known this uh, from the beginning. I think I would have been, I know I would have been better off and um, had an earlier start to the thing that I'm doing now. So stay tuned. You know, around 2011 is really where, you know, my, my, my job experience became less and less consistent. You know, I would be spending, uh, you know, six months here at a job, 11 months here. Um, sometimes I would be in the same industry. I would just be with a different firm, right? Or, or, or a different bank. Um, and they were all upgrades, right? So I would go from like a personal banker one to like a personal banker two. You know what I mean? So, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough to justify the move, right? It was like a little bit of pay increase. Um, I was always trying to find that shortcut, right? That shortcut to making more money because essentially that's what I was doing. I was chasing money. So what I had realized later on is that I was looking for what a job could provide me instead of looking at myself and seeing, okay, what it is I need to do to provide for myself, right? To, to, to make those things that I want more money, right? Um, um, that, that kind of entrepreneurial mindset where you're, you're building your own business, right? And you're in control of your own, your own income. Um, how could I better myself? How can I improve my skills um, to, for those things to come to me versus me chasing them? And, um, you know, that was one of the, one of the biggest things that one of the biggest hurdles for me was chasing things. And, um, you know, I, I was a risk taker. I was, and I'm still am a risk taker. So, you know, I was trying things and doing sales in certain areas and, um, you know, taking manager positions. And like I said, I was just kind of doing whatever I could to get to that next step quicker because, you know, in my mind at the time, you know, time was kind of like this, uh, scary thing for me, right? Like I really wanted to be at a certain um, pedigree, be at a certain level, make a certain income by a certain period of, of in, in my life, right? By by 30, by 33, you know, I wanted to have, I'm going to be making this amount of money. I wanted to have these material items. And um, I was probably like 27, 26, maybe 28, somewhere around there. And, you know, I really, I really didn't have the, the self-awareness that I have now. You know, I wasn't really working on uh, personal development. So really my mindset was different. Um, it was it was focused on the wrong areas. But, um, you know, I really wanted to share with you guys what I have come to understand about that particular time in my life. And had I known the things that I know now, I know my path back then would have been a lot different. So I wanted to share those, those steps with you. But before I get into the, the, the steps there with you, I really want to share, you know, ultimately the reason why I failed was because one, I didn't have a plan. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was kind of just, you know, 27 year old guy, just kind of going at it, right? And just kind of figure it out as I go. Um, I didn't, number two is I really didn't know what I wanted. Uh, I knew I wanted money, um, but I didn't really map everything out. It was kind of just like money was up there and that's all I could see. You know what I mean? And it wasn't really mapped out, okay, how much do you want? Or, you know, it wasn't really focused. It was just like a blob, you know what I mean? And so all I saw was money. I didn't really see, you know, how much money was I going to need to make um, or trying to make, you know, what was the path that I needed to take? What did I really want to do? You know, you're kind of just, I was kind of just figuring things out. So, um, and then in the, in the, the third thing that I, that I, didn't have, or, you know, this is the reason why I failed is because I had the, I lacked the, the self-awareness of myself, you know, knowing, knowing, you know, what my strengths were and knowing what, um, was, was holding me back or keeping me from, from being great at the positions that I had, you know, when I was doing life insurance or banking or mortgages, 
you know, th those were opportunities for me to make really good money, right? And um, and I, I liked the aspect of the job. You know, I like working with people, helping people, networking, things of that nature. But I did mediocre. I didn't do great. And I didn't understand why I didn't do great until now. You know what I mean? Until 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 later, until you, I, I became more more self aware, and I've been working on personal development for the last couple of years. So, um, you know, things are starting to. Uh, I'm really starting to grasp the, the idea and the understanding of myself. And so, uh, you know, those are the reasons why I failed. So hopefully, you guys can avoid those as you you know move forward. If you're watching this um, and you're in the beginning stages of of you know of your path and. Maybe you've maybe you've already quit five or six jobs already. You know what I mean? Or maybe you've already quit two or three jobs already. So hopefully these steps will be able to um, guide you guys and to really get you on the path that you want sooner rather than rather than later. So without further ado, let's get into the first one. All right. So the first step that I would tell you is to take an assessment of yourself. You know, responsibility was something that I didn't um, I didn't hold myself to as far as the reason why these jobs weren't working out. You know, I always came to the conclusion that, you know, the manager didn't train me well enough, or I would tell myself that, um, you know, whether I was in the mortgage business or the banking business, there wasn't enough business to go around, right? All the relationships that I needed to create in order to, you know, gain more income and, and really be good at my at my particular career, um, there was no room, right? That all the good agents were taken, you know, all the good relationships were already made, and it was just excuse after excuse. and. At that time, I really didn't take the take the time to uh, really understand my responsibility in the role of why you know these jobs weren't working out. So I would tell you is to you know take responsibility and and actually be honest with yourself and figure out what can you be what can you hold yourself responsible for um, because ultimately the reasons why these jobs aren't working out is not because of anyone else. It's because of of you, right? And so um, so be responsible. I would also tell you is to, um, you know, know what you want. You know, if you're out there and you're just like I was, just kind of running, right? And you just you're just going, and you have no particular direction or path uh, of where you're going to end up. You kind of just, you know, something looks good over here in the, in, on the right. You you take the right. You know, uh, let's say you're going right for a while, and all of a sudden something something else shiny pops up over there, and you go left. There's no really direct you know, real direction. And for me, and it may be different for yourself, but I was chasing money, you know, so wherever it looked like I had an opportunity to skip a lot of the steps, a lot of the, um, the hardship, right? A lot of the, uh, the rough times, I was looking to skip over that and get right to an executive spot, right? Right to a manager spot, right to a spot where it's, it's paying me, you know, $55,000, $60,000 without understanding my responsibility and why these things weren't working out, without understanding okay what skills or traits am i lacking do i need to do i need to get better at you know so i didn't really have a direction so i would tell you is to make sure that you you have a direction you know exactly what you want now you may not know to the t what you want and obviously those things are always ever changing we're always evolving right so the things that we want now could be different in six months it could be different in a year two years you know so um but i would at least say that you have a base a good guideline as to okay I know I want to own my own business, right? Or I know I want to make six figures, right? At least you have a starting point. And then you can kind of fine tune it from there. And like I said, for me, if someone had asked me, Mike, you know, you're chasing money, how much money do you need? I couldn't tell you. I honestly couldn't give you a dollar amount of what it actually looked like. I just was chasing high dollars, you know? And to me back then, uh, you know, it was, 50,000, 55,000, you know, it's kind of what I was chasing. Cause I was, I think at the time I was making like 30, 35, somewhere mm -hmm. around there. And so I'm like, okay, how can I, how can I move up the ladder without doing too much work or uh, what's the fastest way to get there? So know what you want. And then lastly, I would say is be honest with yourself. Like that is, that is the one thing that you cannot, you cannot uh, lack on, right? You can't, you have to be truthful and honest with yourself because you know, when you're lying to yourself and you're and you're telling yourself that you want one thing but you really don't, or you know, you you you're willing to work hard but you really aren't, you're not hurting anyone but yourself. You know, and then you're gonna find yourself in a position where, which you, you probably already have, just like myself, where you know I say I want something and I and I go after it, and then I you know, two months in, three months in, six months in, I'm not really doing what needs to be done. 
uh, for the things that I that I said I wanted. You know, so you know you, you have to you have to be honest with yourself, and you know that's a hard thing to do. It wasn't until you know these last maybe year and a half that I've really understood. Um, you know, the things that I said I wanted early on in my life, I really don't. Honestly, when I when I really broke it down and got truthful with myself, there's some things that I really didn't really don't want. You know, like the whole, you know, I really wanted a mansion, right? And I wanted a million dollar house and I wanted a Lamborghini and a Ferrari. And it's like, those things are definitely doable. But the more I, more I look into it, the more I, you know, kind of see where my, my life is headed and where I wanted to go, that's not really something that I'm into, you know? Um, so, and, and it may be, the, may be the same for you. So really just be honest with yourself and, um, and figure out what it is that you that you really are what are your intentions and and um, just be truthful because that's really the only way that you're gonna get to where you want to go is if you're truly honest and again those things are gonna change as well right um, so that's what I would tell you on the is, is to take the assessment utilize those three things being responsible being honest with yourself and knowing what you want and um, again since you're already in that mode of, of analyzing do that for every other for every other aspect of your life, not just your career. You know, do it for your life, do it for your relationships. You know, do it for everything. Um, that way, you have you have balance. All right. So step number two is working on what you lack. Right. So again, I didn't understand what I had lacked until recently. You know, my stint of going from in and out of jobs um, probably hasn't been that way in the last I'd say year and a half year. Um, you know, I finally gotten getting to a point where I'm understanding what it is that I want, right? And I'm and I'm working towards my path, and I'm doing a lot of personal development and self awareness and things of that nature. And so, things are really um, looking up and changing for me. And so, but like I said, it wasn't until recently that I understood why I wasn't giving those positions a hundred percent or why things weren't working out, right? And for me, it was understanding now that. I lack consistency and discipline, which I never would have thought would have been something that I lack. You know, I'm a I'm a pretty responsible guy. Um, you know, I do what needs to be done. Um, I I've, I've noticed about myself that I love to try new things. Right, I love variety. I love, you know, it'd be a, you, you'll find me at one point where I'm I'm playing the guitar, and I would really want to love to play the guitar. And so I'll go and I'll buy a guitar. I'll buy whatever needed lessons, whatever, right? New strings, everything, the whole gamut. I'll go out and get a whole new guitar, and um, and I'll, you'll find me studying it and playing it for I don't know, two or three weeks, and then you'll slowly, you know, I'll be playing it every day, and then it'll drop down to every three days, and then it'll drop down to every two days, and then next thing you know, the guitar is collecting dust in the corner of the room, and. Uh, you know, my wife is always, I'm laughing because my wife is always like, you can never stick to one thing. You are always jumping to the next thing. And so it was hard for me to understand that because I really wasn't, I wasn't looking uh, introspective, right? I wasn't really looking into myself. And um, so I know that as I've been more self-aware, I lack consistency and discipline. And I know those are the two reasons, part of the two reasons why, you know, I was job hopping and I was quitting job after job after job because I wasn't consistent. I was looking for, you know, if I'm being honest with myself, I was looking for the fastest way to get to the most amount of money, you know, without doing the most, without doing, with doing the least amount of work, really. And that's not going to work, right? Realistically, you're not going to be able to become a millionaire and have no discipline and have no consistency, right? At whatever it is that you, that you need to do to get you to become a millionaire. And, um, so once I kind of realized and I had that, that, not epiphany, but I just had that understanding, I'm like, damn, okay, that took, makes a total lot of sense, right? Now I understand why I do some of the things that I do, right? Because I jump into something and I get this idea and I'm full blown at it and then the steam kind of wears off and then I'm like, oh, on to the next thing. And I do the same thing, on to the next thing. And so, um, you know, I would say whatever it is that you lack, you know, whether it's consistency, whether it's discipline, you know, whether it's responsibility, you know, um, you know, whatever it is, find a way to create an atmosphere in which you can build that up, which right, in which you can start to thrive in that area. 
for me, when it comes to consistency and, and discipline, I, I found it easier for, to start with the little things, right? So if it's, let's say I write in my journal every morning before I go to work and then every night before I go to bed. And I've been very, very consistent at doing that. Probably for, I would say a good solid month and a half, right? Of journaling in my, in my journal every morning and before I go to bed. So I start with the little things, you know, the little things kind of add up to, um, you know, being more consistent when it comes to larger tasks that you have to take on. So I start with my journaling and then, you know, maybe I'll start with meditating would be another thing. If I wanted to be more consistent and disciplined on that, I would just kind of implement these little tasks here and there once I got, you know, above 60 days of doing it. Um, and slowly and surely I would start to build my consistency and, and my discipline. Now I'm still nowhere near where I want to be in those two areas, but if I'm going to be able to succeed, not only in my career, but in my relationships and any other aspect, I have to be able to create that environment in which I'm successful, especially with myself. I, the last thing I want to do is beat myself in the race, right? I want to beat everybody else. I don't want to be beaten by myself. You know what I mean? So I need to get this straight. I need to get this going, right? Get this straight. Um, so that way there is no, there is no competition, right? It's, it's just competing with myself and I'm doing it hundred percent. And so again, whatever it is that you are not good at or whatever the reasons that you, that you have, that you find out as to why these, this, these, you know, these jobs aren't working for you, um, work on that, create the atmosphere, whatever it is that you need and be consistent at it and keep doing it over and over again. And eventually it's like a callus, right? It, 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 it'll grow over, it'll grow back and it'll, it'll be stronger. So that would be my step number two there for you. All right, and then my final step for you, step number three is to have a transition plan. Now, once you finish up step number one, you know, kind of being more responsible, taking responsibility, knowing yourself, taking the assessment, you did that step number two, which is um, knowing what you lack, then you got to figure out what your transition plan, how are you going to get from where you currently are to where you need to go, right? So this may look different for everyone. Um, you know, for me, I was married, I had a house, I had two kids, you know, I had, I had a, you know, liabilities, I had things I had to pay for, right? And so um, I couldn't just up and quit. Um, so once I realized what it was that I was wanting to go after and was truly being honest with myself, I had to figure out, okay, how am I going to get to that next step? So I'll give you an example. When I went from doing mortgages, I wanted to jump back into doing marketing. And so before I quit my mortgage job um, or left my mortgage job, you know, I had to network with people that were in marketing. You know, um, I had to apply for jobs in marketing. You know, I was kind of doing whatever it took, making a portfolio for myself. Um, at the time I was helping small businesses for free, doing, doing, their, doing their marketing. You know, so I was, I was doing whatever I, as I could to kind of wrap myself in that realm of marketing, you know, so people can start associating marketing with myself. And so those are the things I was doing to try and transition. And so, you know, like if, if, if you're single and you know, you have the means to just quit your job and transition into whatever it is that you need to do. Great. If not, you need to come up with a plan. Do you need to, you know, do you have a house? If so, do you need to sell it? Do you need to live with a friend or your, or back with your parents for a while? You need to downgrade on some of your liabilities and get some of those taken off the books. You know, um, do you need a license for whatever it is that you're trying to do? Do you need more education? You know, um, do you need a certificate or degree or anything like that? Like figure it out, map it out, no step by step. If I want to be, if I'm going after and I'm trying to be a YouTuber, okay, what do I need to do? What do I need to have in place to get that going? I need equipment. You don't really necessarily need any education. You know, you need to know, you know who your who your target market is you know what your topics are going to be about what are your what are your target markets pain points you know um you need to set up a youtube channel uh someplace in your house or wherever and boom you're off in the running right and so obviously again that's going to be different for every other body because not everybody wants to be a youtuber right not everybody wants to get into marketing not everybody wants to do sales so figure out what it is your transition needs to look like get it set up that may take you a week. That may take you three months to do that transition. It may take you six months. It may even take you a year, depending on where you what you know what you're doing and what you're trying to go after. But know what the transition looks like, and I guarantee you, it's going to make things a lot easier for you. And then once you have all these things, these three steps 
you know, set up and in line and you're more in tune with who you are, what it is that you want. You're being honest with yourself. You're taking full responsibility, not for, you know, for everything that's, that's happened to you and everything that is going to happen to you. I'm telling you, you're going to be so much better off. It's going to be so less stressful. Um, you know, you're going to be more energized. Um, you're going to be more willing to get up in the morning and do whatever it is that you need to do. And um, it's just going to really light a fire, light a fire under you, right? And give you more passion. At least it has for me, you know. So, you know, now I'm at the point where, you know, I'm doing, um, you know, I'm doing coaching. I'm doing life coaching, which is one of the areas that I really wanted to, to kind of go into. And I'm loving that. Um, being able to to help people, you know, just change their mindset, right? And and really help them come from a place of where I was back, you know, in the day a little bit to um, to a place I am now where I have more clarity, I have more understanding, um, and I kind of I know myself more, right? Um, you know, so I'm doing that and I'm doing a little a sales gig on the side and you know make some earn some extra money and so it's just it's good and it's it's getting me to where uh, to where I want to be right and it's, it's leading me to that path of of where I wanted to go. So um, again, hopefully those three those three steps there help you um, as they as they help me. Uh, really, if I had known these in the beginning when I started my career off or you know back in 2011. I guarantee you I'd be way farther than where I am now um, in every aspect, right? And I probably wouldn't have as many jobs on my resume as I do because I would've went through those steps. I would've known, kind of, at least been closer to the path that I should be on, right? Like, again, you're not gonna know everything early on. Some people do, some people don't. Things change, and that's totally fine. Um, but if you're out there blind, and you're and you're and you're running your life that way, and you're doing that over and over again, hoping that something big pops up for you or something changes for you. It's not going to happen. Sadly, you know you have to be the change. And so the little, you know, the, the more that you know about yourself, the more that you 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 know what you want, the closer you're starting you're starting to steer yourself to that to that right path. And eventually, eventually, you'll get to the point where you're on the path, you're close to your destination. You know, and then it's just, I wouldn't say it's smooth sailing, but um, there's not really much that can take you off that path as in the beginning, right? When you're kind of just veering off the next, the next shiniest thing there for you, the next best opportunity there for you. You know, so like I said, I really hope these steps have an impact on your life you know, as they have in mine. And, and they really provide um, kind of the roadmap for you and it leads you to where, to where you want to go. And as again, let me remind you that, you know, I'm here to help you. And, and help you be successful and, and change your mindset, you know, and to um, really provide you with accountability and clarity. So, you know, if coaching is something that you've looked into or that you're curious about, uh, please hit me up at the link below. Um, I would love to chat with you and see, you know, where it is that we can take you and, and, and what we can accomplish together. Be sure to check out these next videos as you continue to become the man that you want to be. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.